The army base hospitals are counted amongst the most advanced medical care units in the country. These multidisciplinary hospitals not only look after the medical needs of serving army men, but also of their families and even retired soldiers. Our motto is that if any casualty comes to us alive, we will not let him die in this hospital. And I can say it very confidently. The army base hospital in Srinagar is a very busy place all through the year. It handles an assortment of casualties and health problems aggravated by the extremely cold weather conditions and the difficult terrain. We are totally geared up to provide emergency medical care. The army hospitals have done a human service to the nation by attending even to civilian casualties during natural calamities like floods, earthquakes and tsunami. General Hospital in Leh treated scores of civilians affected by the flash floods in August 2010. With the district civil hospital lying in shambles after the cloud burst, the victims of this natural calamity had no place to get their injuries treated. The army doctors worked non-stop attending casualties, civilian as well as military. The civil hospital, the SNM hospital was totally defunct that day because it collapsed. We conducted something around uh, 20 of major operations in this hospital and that was done by a single surgeon and an anesthetist. The Army had also commissioned several makeshift hospitals in flash flood affected areas to provide on-the-spot emergency medical assistance. In fact, the Army Medical Corps has been providing healthcare services in several forward areas along India's international borders even during peacetime. And it's not just in the border areas, but also in Delhi, at the Army's Research and Referral Hospital, popularly known as RR Hospital. It is one of the finest and most advanced hospitals in India. It is a multi-speciality hospital with state-of-the-art diagnostic equipment and it caters to all the three defense services. It is also responsible for looking after the health and well-being of the President of India, who is also the Supreme Commander of all the